Yo, hi yo. I told y'all I'd keep y'all updated when I was ready to place that next order or when I place that next order, whatever I said. But I placed that order. Now let me tell y'all what I went through. Okay, so you remember how I showed y'all those samples that I liked, right? I mean, there was a few adjustments I had to make. I realized that the, the, the bear design, that was my fault. I had to fix the design. It was something that I had in the design that was uh, kind of messed up. But I actually decided to move the bear down a little bit and I put the uh, my logo on the bear's foot. Actually, I think I'm gonna have to put a picture of the shirt on the screen, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, the manufacturer went MIA. It was like four days that I haven't heard from him. And I really need to get this these uh, clothes ready and out before my drop on November 21st because that's a very important date to me. All right, I'll talk about that a little bit later, man. But yeah, so he went MIA and it's important for me to have these clothes ready. So uh, I can't sit there and hope he hits me back or I can't afford for him to go MIA once I do place my order. So I went back to my, my list of manufacturers that I, I, I told y'all about, right? So I hit one of them up that I, I knew I, I liked his, his, um, his work, at least from what I could see on his social media. And out of all of the other manufacturers, it seems like he was the only one that actually had a good amount of following, you know what I'm saying? So I, I contacted him, tried to get some prices. He said he was gonna do everything in screen print. So he was charging me $10 for the bear shirt. And then the other, the smiley face design, he was charging me $8 a shirt. So that was gonna be 900 total versus the 950. I set up a FaceTime call because I was like, yeah, I want to see your factory before I even place an order. Six or seven in the morning, that's whenever he hit me back. You know what I'm saying? So we FaceTime. And yeah, I like the factory. Everything looked cool. Everything seemed smooth. You know, I get to, I got to see uh, the shirts that were in production. Like he had some orders that were already folded and um, packaged up. You know what I'm saying? So he opened up the package, let me look at it, let me see the seams and everything like that. He, he looked official. I was letting him know the things that I didn't like about my, my um, sample. So I was telling him, okay, I think the tags that I had from the last guy was too, too long. So I actually, I think I want to make them one and three quarters inches. And then he made the neck tags huge. I think I want them to be two inches wide or two inches long. And then obviously the height gonna be automatically adjusted, you know what I'm saying? But I, I felt a little bit more comfortable ordering from him without getting samples first just for the fact that I've had a sample of that exact design and I know exactly what needed to be changed and, and you know what I'm saying, up, upgraded. When I was pretty much ready to order order with them, the other manufacturer hit me up, talking about his his phone was broken, that's why he, he you know what I'm saying, that's why he wasn't able to um, get in contact with me and hit me back. But I'm explaining to him, yeah, I get that, but on my side, it's still a business, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't afford to have these lapses in, in, in contact. And I was trying to explain to him that I already started speaking to another manufacturer because I can't afford to wait on you. That was all um, DTF, so that was uh, Director Fabric. And I let him know that the ma other manufacturer that I spoke to was talking about he'll do everything for 900 He charged me 950 so it really don't even make sense. Plus, this lapse in communication is a big problem for me. Communication is like number one, you feel me? So if you can't communicate, it ain't like I can pull up on you, you know what I'm saying? I can't com come to the shop and see how to, you know what I'm saying, see if everything going good. You in a whole different continent, dude. So. Yeah, nah. <laughs> I, I I I gave him my word that I was gonna order with him, so I I was like, yo, I'm gonna just get one design from you. I'm gonna get 50 of, of this one design from you. And then he was saying, yeah, I can do 50 shirts, no problem. I'm like, all right, so we good, right? You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to make sure. So I'm like, okay, cool. I need to deposit some money into the bank, and then uh, whenever I do move around and do that, I'll let you know, and then I'll send you the payment. So I hit the other dude. Hey man, I'm gonna just get 50 of just this one design. And then he was like, why are you going down on the price? I reminded him that I previously told him that I had a manufacturer I was getting ready to order with previously. So I explained to him, I'm like, yo, I'm gonna just go ahead and get 50 shirts from him of this design and then 50 shirts from you from the other design. And then bro, I had an attitude. He was like, well, I do it for $10 a shirt. I'm like, you was previously gonna do this design for $8 a shirt and the other design for $10 a shirt. Why is it going up? He was like, because you were previously gonna get 100, 100 shirts and this is the price for 50 shirts. I'm trying to see if bro will, will negotiate with me. I'm telling him, 
Mm -hmm. All right, well, look, let me get them at eight, right? And then I'll order some samples of some shorts. And that way, you know what I'm saying, you know that I'll be shopping with you when it comes to the shorts. Because especially if I'm giving you my word, you see how hard I, you see that I'm trying to keep my word with this other guy by, you know what I'm saying, I'm trying to make it work for both of y'all. I'm keeping my word by still placing an order with him. It's just a smaller order. So I'm trying to let you know that I'm gonna keep my word if I say I'm finna order these, shop, these shorts with you. So work with me, man. He was stiff on a nine, 10. I'm like, yo, all right, how about, how about I pay $9 a shirt, you know what I'm saying, and get 50. Bro, it's still stiff on that. I'm like, man, well, I have a, I'm, I'm only trying to spend a certain amount on shirts. So the, the last thing I can offer you is me paying, what was he trying to charge me? $10 a shirt? I'm like, all right, well, look, what if I get that, do that $10 a shirt and just get four of them? You know what I'm saying? I mean, 40 of them, my bad. And then bro was like, nah. I'm like, all right, well, man, that's my last offer. Next time we won't have these problems, I apologize. Thank you for your time. I think he said, okay. And then he came back and was like, $9 I can do. I'm like, all right, bet. Well, look, let me get 50 of them. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, it worked out. I told him I was going to make my payment in three payments. The first payment now to get this started. Uh, the second payment now, to, uh, once you produce the first shirt and I can give you the okay to go ahead and make the rest of them. And then the third payment, whenever everything is, is packaged up, you're getting ready to ship it out. So he was like, cool. So I went in and made that first payment. You know what I'm saying? He said, pay him on remit. Then the, uh, the first manufacturer that I was getting the, the bear design from, I told him the same thing, three payments. That's what I, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's all I do. I only do it in three payments. He was trying to tell me two payments. You pay this this amount now and then you pay the, the, the rest of it. I'm like, nah. I told you it's two, it's three payments. That's all I'm doing. It's either three payments or no deal. Again, the other manufacturer, I was gonna get everything for at least uh, $50 cheaper. So, and technically I think he was gonna have everything back to me like three days faster, which ain't really that much, but it's like, hey, that's a whole weekend. You know what I'm saying? But I told him, hey, three payments or no deal. And then he, of course he, okay, I can do three payments. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, like they be trying to strong on you, but it's like if you stay stiff, is they gon they gon they gon come around. If they see that you finna walk away, they gon come around. And I see why people say that you gotta have multiple manufacturers. I feel like I've heard them say that you should have certain manufacturers for certain things. Maybe something for someone for shorts, something for shirts, uh, hoodies, sweats, whatever. Um, but for me, I think that I need to have at least two main, two three manufacturers. So. If, I, if somebody does go MIA, I'm not looking for somebody brand new. I at least have some, have a backup, you know what I'm saying? Like this type of situation. I told y'all I was gonna let y'all know why November 21st is the day that I was gonna put my clothing on, right? So Friday the 13th of this year made 10 years since my mama passed away. Her birthday was November 21st. Just the timing of everything, it just, it seemed like it's only right for me to drop on November 21st, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a Tuesday. That's not the most ideal date, but hey, it, it's it's the date, you know what I'm saying? It, it means something to me, so that's gonna be the day that we drop. Let me know if there's anything that y'all think I can do to improve just the whole process, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't wanna be stressed between manufacturers. I don't wanna be going through these, these minor things, you know what I'm saying? I ain't really wanna text back to nobody. I ain't wanna really talk to nobody. Like, I was just, trying to figure out what makes the most sense because I ain't want no bad blood between nobody because it seemed like they both make good products so I want to be able to, you know what I'm saying, use whoever, whenever. What, what would you have done if you were in my situation? Would you have just gone with the the second manufacturer? Or would you have waited for the first manufacturer? What, what makes sense to you? Leave your answer in the comment. You know, like the video, subscribe, visit the website. You know, the Instagram is street underscore sanctum. And the website is streetsanctum.com. Go ahead and um, visit the website. It's, it's closed right now for until I actually drop, but you can add in your, your, your um, you can put in your phone number and you can get the notifications and everything like that. You get 10% off your order whenever you do subscribe for the SMS notifications. I do want to give a shout out to my boy Travis and his fiance Shy with uh, Amor Agape. They call the line is really hard. I'm not even gonna stunt check this out. Put up me. Yeah. Y'all have a great day.